Um, monetizing biographies. Uh, do you read biographies or autobiographies? Do you even know what they are? Would you rather consume such in audio or video format? Could you monetize such a product? Could you impact children, youths and others positively? Could you impact community and generations by so doing? Are you still there? <laughs> Hello one and all. Thank you for thank you very much for your time and company. My name is Jack Lukman. I manage two Facebook groups, um, Empowerment, Inspiration and Support, as well as one, two, three of bees. I also manage a YouTube channel. It's called Jack Lukman. And of course, there's our membership site, 123 of bees dot vip com. you could also check out our books on the amazon website if you search for jack lukman you'll find our books there our mission is to empower and inspire generations by leveraging the internet today's topic monetizing biographies we shall explore impact and monetization opportunities. Now, a biography is an account of someone's life as written by a third party, whereas an autobiography is written by the subject of the content. Biographies are important because they share life experiences, good, bad, ugly, and a lot of lessons could actually be learned therefrom. Most biographies are in written format. Some condensed versions are made into films, which are known as biopics. Biographies are sometimes described as memoirs. Now, some high net individuals actually employ people to do the job of writing their biographies, while some others do it themselves. Some of these biographies are not accessible to the common man, mainly for financial reasons and maybe accessibility. Most children, youths, may not even bother to read this, not only for financial reasons, but because they don't prioritize such and probably would go through the pain of reading. My estimate is that about 80 to 90 percent of the populace, if not more, don't read biographies. They get consumed with the daily grind, not spending a minute or two to reflect on alternatives. Even during their spare time, holidays, sickness, walks, quiet times, etc. They probably squander that time in the name of relaxing, unwinding, enjoying, etc. Have you thought of improving yourself, getting inspired, learning from the experience of others? Have you thought of opportunities that you could leverage have you thought of learning from the life experience of others that you may not be a victim of similar pitfalls? Have you thought of working smarter and not just harder? If you lose your daily bread as a result of old age, sickness, conflict or otherwise, do you have plan B? plan C or plan D? Will you let your dependents go hungry or homeless? When you are dead and gone, would you have a worthwhile legacy to leave behind? Well, you could marry most of the above in the venture I shall describe in a few minutes. 
it's obvious that most people are busy, gainfully or otherwise. There are a lot of unemployed, qualified people. A lot of people, including children, are glued to digital devices, phones, tablets, computers, etc. Now, what if you join the business of doing biographies? those of desirable role models. Now, these role models don't have to be rich or famous. They just have to have desirable qualities. You could choose your desired niche or, or a combination of niches. You know, you could articulate the biographies of desirable personalities. You could replicate this in different formats text, audio, video, sign language, etc. You could choose to have it in one or more languages. You shall decide on the platform of sharing this information. You could make it entertaining, educative, engaging, and thought-provoking. Some platforms that you could use are blogs, podcasts, ebooks, paperbacks, membership sites, social media, etc. The use of language should actually be positive and constructive. Your content shall also be factual and non-controversial. Your content shall be short, sharp and to the point. The content shall be presented in formats compatible with your audience. For example, if you are targeting children, use their vocabulary and make it short and enjoyable, whilst giving them life lessons to imbibe. If targeting odd adults, use mature language with lots of food for thought. If targeting those who don't speak English, do it in appropriate languages that they would understand, maybe their native languages, etc. I'm currently working on membership sites and can see great potential with the value proposition. Apart from monetary rewards, you could make great impact on communities and generations by empowering the younger ones and those who require inspiration. The impact could eventually become global. Literacy skills could become enhanced. Life experience could become enriched. Expectations could become managed. You could generate income from this business. You could positively impact yourself and followers. You could add great value to one and all. It could be a kind of informal education. It will be constructive use of idle time for one and all. It could inspire some to read the text versions. It could facilitate basic IT skills, etc., etc., etc. Now your niche shall be those who are lazy at reading those who cannot afford to purchase quality biographies, those who easily get bored from reading, those who wish to be empowered and inspired, and those who don't have the time and space to sit and read. These are all people who could benefit from this venture. Of course, you need to secretly get advice to avoid the wrong side of the law. You might also require a team to get the best of this venture and to lighten the burden. You could source the content from places such as, you know, people celebrate life. Thank you, Brother Kamar. Um, people who do celebrations of life. After someone has passed on, they talk about celebrations of life and they mention all, all the good things that those, um, the deceased person has done. And, uh, you, you know, this could be either online or offline. You could research the internet. You could get information from newspapers or magazines and follow and follow through the process. 
if you get information or inspiration from television or radio, if you get um, information or inspiration from social media, from word of mouth, and etc., you could even modify the business model into a work of fiction which is inspired by true life stories, hence keeping the subjects anonymous. In my opinion, if you are ready to put in the effort and have a positive attitude, this venture is very, very achievable, profitable and scalable. If you wish to discuss further or wish to collaborate, please send me a direct mail on Facebook Messenger. We could discuss the skills requirement, the skills, the requirements, etc. We could project manage the process and create you know, products and other products as well. During the course of doing so, other opportunities could actually come up. I hope that you found value in this very short video and I hope that I've made some sense. Please feel free to share this video with those who could benefit from it. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Jack Lukman. Ireo, thank you very much.